Hello LEGO fans, adult fan of LEGO UK here and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars Winter 2014 set review. So this is set 75037, Batalon Seleucami. Um, this is ages 7 to 12, comes with a piece count of 178 and it retails here in the UK currently for £14.99 from the Lego store or the Lego store online. Right, so first off, let's take a look at the box. Okay, so we can see the, the front of the box there. And this new winter 2014, or 2014 I should say, um, design. So we can see this scene on the front there's the minifigures with it comes with a total of five so i think this represents some good value actually 14 pounds 99 pence you get five minifigures so two battle droids two super battle droids and a new bark trooper um, you can see there the other elements to this set there's the rear of the box so as usual some of the um, scene and function so again this one comes with the new spring loaded shooters okay across the top again our minifigures are showing there so let's have a look at the set okay so there we can see the set in front of us now so just very very quickly obviously we have here our um, speeder and piloting the speeder is our Bark Trooper. We have a stack over here with a battle droid, obviously piloting that. Um, over here we have our droid defense station. So in our droid defense station we can see two super battle droids and one battle droid. So let's take a closer look at all the elements of this set. Okay, first off we'll take a look at our speeder. So those Lego Star Wars fans out there, um, you would have seen lots of speeders. So this is just a new variant um, of those speeders. There is one new function on this that you would not have seen yet, which I will show you in a second. Just going to give you a spin round of the speeder on the top there. Obviously, like I said, piloting the speeder is our Bark Troop, and we'll take a closer look at him in a minute. Um, there are number of stickers on this so you see there there's a sticker and we have some stickers on the side obviously to represent the droid kills there and the same sticker is shown on the other side there so that's it for that three stickers so the new function on this is the spring loaded shooter which you can see here on the end See the end of it there, and you can see the other side of it there. So the way this fires is simply just simply push down on this very, very lightly. Let's zoom out a little bit, so hopefully you can see this shoot out a bit better. So all I do, push down on that. It's focused first, and you will see it fly out. We'll find it, there we go. And there we go, so that has shot out there. And like I said in a previous review I did, um, of the uh, what was it the V-Wing um, I had one of these in as well they do come out very very fast so you do need to be careful so that is our speeder just to show you how this is reloaded so there we can see the actual piece that's fired itself the actual missile you can see in the end there where it goes into and I have showed this piece again before, but this is a spring-loaded mechanism inside this brick. So you just simply push it down the bottom. And you will hear it click. There we go, so that's clicked into place now, ready to fire again. Okay, next up we have our stap. Again, very basic build. Would have seen a number of these previously. Um, so it's just a new variant, new design on it. Nice use of the blue coloured bricks. Sticker there on the front. You can see there. Um, and obviously there's our droid 
um, flying the stap. It's the only thing on this one actually you have it on some of the previous ones there isn't actually a base there or stand for him to, to stand on so he's just literally holding on to the um, handlebars or the grips there. Um, you can see these translucent pieces here and it's on this little base. So that again guys that is the stap. Okay, so the final element to this set is the droid defense station, which you can see in front of here. It's the first thing to point out here, this is a sticker on the front there. You can see that a little bit better if I zoom in. And while we're there, so we can see a battle droid here with a blaster. Um, to the right and left of him are two super battle droids. Okay, if we just spin this round. You can see some of the elements are used, we've got these leaf pieces here. I think this may be a new piece, I certainly don't recall seeing it, uh, but I may be wrong. I might have been using some of the Chima sets, which I don't um, collect. Um, but this piece here, again representing some sort of greenery. Okay, just carry on showing that and spinning that round so we can see the rear of the defence station there. Okay, so I'm just going to take these out now because these, they've done something new with these. I'll just take each one of those out. So what you should see there is each one of these now come on a um, little platform which you build, which is just made up of, um, it's a 2x2 two two plate. Um, with a one by two tile. If you can see, you get that in there. So there's the two by two plate and the one by two tile, and they just simply sit on or stand on the rear end of that. Um, so one thing it does do is make them a lot more stable because they um, have a platform now, and that just simply slots into um, on here. You should see there. We have um, a little tiled area there, which these just simply slot into very, very nicely actually. So they just quickly slot into there, like so. These are hinge pieces here. Here's another feature here, so you could have them something like that, or even right round like that if you wanted to you pretty much put it in no not any formation but a lot of varied formations like so okay so let's just take a quicker look or a quick look at the minifigures okay so first up we have our super battle droid um most of you should have seen these by now, been in quite a few of these um, sets. But there's nothing new with this one. Standard silver coloured super battle droid. Okay, next up we have the battle droid. And again, standard battle droid, used in many sets before. Okay, as you can see there, this one comes with a um, blaster rifle, um, there's two of these, um, the other one doesn't because the other one's flying the stap. Um, obviously two super battle droids as well. So that's our standard battle droid. Okay, so finally we have our Bark Trooper, so this is a new minifigure to this set. He again comes with a blaster. Just remove the blaster. Take a better look or a closer look at some of that print in detail now. Uh, we can see he has some printing detail on his legs. Also on the front of his torso. And printing on the rear of the torso. You can see he comes with, obviously that side he's got a white arm. And that side he's got this sort of dark red arm there. 
His helmet, again, cool looking helmet with some good printing detail on it. Okay, if you take his helmet off, you can see the print into his face, single sided. And there we go, so that is our Bark Trooper. Okay, just a quick look at the instructions, which we can see here. Again, in the rear we can see some of the sets from the Winter 2014 Wave, minifigures on that page, um, the inventory for this set, and we have a total of 47 pages of build um, on this particular set. Um, also, the spring-loaded missiles, there are an additional three of those, so it obviously comes with a total of four of these. Um, that's obviously again they're expecting these to be lost, which I can understand because, like I said, these do fire out very fast. Okay, so that's my review of this set complete. Um, I think this is a really good set for the price, fourteen pounds ninety nine pence. Like I said before, the fact that you get five minifigures of this, two super battle droids, two droids, and the Bark Trooper, um, I think it's great value. Um, and obviously you get the speeder, the stap, and the um, droid um, station, battle station, defense station, sorry, the droid defense station. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it guys, so please, um, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up, leave me any feedback down in the comments section or provide me with any other comments you wish to. Um, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Cheers!